Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here, coming at you again from the woods behind the Knife Center. Because today we're taking a look at a bunch of pocket knives that we think are great for camping. Let's check them out. While we would always recommend a good fixed blade for camping, there's actually plenty of scenarios where you'd want a good folder at your side as well. Not everyone is comfortable carrying a fixed blade, or maybe you're looking for a nice backup or complement to your larger knife, but then in some cases you may not even be able to carry a fixed blade. Luckily, if you need to go with a folder, there are a ton of great options out there, and we've pulled our top 10 for you to take a look at. First off, for safety's sake, we always recommend a locking blade folder for these types of uses, and we'd also recommend a plain edge over a serrated blade in these cases, because it's going to be a little more versatile and useful for you since you're probably going to be doing a little bit of wood carving or even food prep with these knives. Also for a camping knife, handle comfort is going to be very important. Whereas a nice contoured fixed blade is usually going to be more comfortable, it's hard for a pocket knife to compete in that regard. So we're going to take a look at some options here with a beefier handle that are easier to hold on to. But in addition to that, a good pair of gloves is also always a good idea. It's going to help eliminate some of those hot spots and make these knives easier to hold on to. So first we're going to start with a trio of lockbacks, and the first one is a classic, the Buck 110 Folding Hunter. This one actually belongs to one of our videographers, which explains the UCC here, and it goes to show you that these things can put up with a lot of abuse. There's a reason this knife is still being made today more than 50 years after its introduction, and that's because it works. It's got a really nice clip point blade with a nice acute tip and a very good hollow grind with Buck's famous 420 HC steel. There's a lock back here at the end to keep things secure. And one of the great things about the classic iteration of this knife is that it provides a very nicely sized handle. They're thick enough that it allows you to get a really nice grip on this knife without it being so thin that it digs in when you go to put it to harder tasks. There's no pocket clip on this knife, and while a lot of people don't like to EDC this for this reason, it does come with a nice leather pouch for your belt. Additionally, the classic look of this knife is going to look right at home at any campsite. Next up is the Victorinox Hunter Pro M from the makers of the Swiss Army Knife, and this also comes with a nice pouch for your belt. This knife has a more modern look than the 110, and it has a one-hand opening stainless steel blade. The hole cutout makes it very easy for left-handed or right-handed use, and we get a nice drop point blade with a very sturdy flat grind on it. The real star here though are these handles. While this steel may not hold an edge as well as some of the modern super steels, it's very easy to keep a super keen edge on it and it still performs excellent. The real star though are these handles. They're a synthetic rubber-like material and they're very accommodating. The lockback is mounted mid-spine as opposed to the end like on the 110 and it sits really nicely in that handle giving you a very full grip. This one happens to be an orange color, although you can get it in a couple other colors, as well as a wood handle option. Any one of them is a great choice because this is going to feel great and perform very well. Next up, we've got another orange handled lockback, and that's the Cold Steel Ultimate Hunter. I say lockback, but this mechanism is actually Cold Steel's triad lock. In use, it functions just the same as an ordinary lockback, but there's some extra stuff going on internally that actually make this even stronger. And that lock is what allows this to be a truly hard use folder. Moving on to the blade, we're starting to get into some more premium steels. We've got S35VN here, as well as a slightly thicker blade with a very high flat grind. And the geometry of this knife is set up in a way that it's a very nice compromise between outright strength and slicing efficiency. That drop point profile is also going to be very useful in the woods for all manner of tasks. And the blade length is just about perfect here, being very easy to handle. Moving back to the handles, this orange version here is both highly visible and very comfortable. We actually get two pocket clips with this knife, one for the left side or the right side, but if they are causing a hot spot for you, they're very easy to remove to make this handle even more accommodating. Sticking with the subject of heavy duty folders for camping, we've got the Topps Fieldcraft folder, and this one's for the bushcrafters out there. First thing you'll notice is that this features Topps' modified Scandi grind. And a Scandi grind is a specialized grind for woodworking. You can kind of think of it as a double planed chisel. And that type of geometry works very well for things like doing feather sticks, notching, or trap triggers, or any of those other woodcraft tasks that you might want to engage with. We've got a very nicely sized blade of 1095 carbon steel. And this was actually a knife inspired by the original fixed blade version. And in the transition to a folder, they actually have not given up all that much in terms of strength. We've got nice micarta scales that keep things nice and grippy, as well as extremely thick liners that house that liner lock. And as far as liner locks go, this one is extremely beefy. 
In fact, I've seen frame locks with thinner frames than this. There's multiple carry options with this knife as well. We do have a pocket clip for left or right side carry. And the knife also comes with a high quality leather sheath for belt carry. The last thing you'll notice is that there's a divot here on the micarta scales, and that's on both sides of the knife. What that actually allows you to do is use your knife as the bearing block for a bow drill set. So if you're trying to start a friction fire with the bow drill method, you don't have to go looking for that top piece to keep your hand safe, it's integrated right there. Next up is one of my favorite recommendations for a really, really hard use folder that works well not just for camping, but also tactical uses, and that's the DPX Hest and this one happens to be the Hest F Triple Black. This does have a shorter blade than some of the knives we just looked at, but it is incredibly durable, thanks to a slightly thicker profile and Nihilox steel. Again, that drop point profile is something that's gonna work very well when you're out camping, but we've also got a very interesting cutout here in the spine, and that does two things. One, it allows it to function similar to Emerson's knives, and it allows you to open the blade as it's being drawn from your pocket, but also it allows you to pop a bottle of your favorite brew while you're camping, because that is also a bottle opener. In addition to that beefy blade, what makes this knife so incredibly durable is the very thick frame lock that it uses. And this knife is actually made in Italy by Lion Steel for DPX, and that's why you see this nice little feature right here. It may just look like an over-travel arrester, but if you screw it down, it actually locks the frame lock into place, so you have a redundant system that keeps that lock from disengaging accidentally. With positive strength on one side and great traction on the other thanks to this G10 scale, this is a knife that's going to hold up to very harsh conditions and be just what you need. Next up we're going to talk about Benchmade, and this was actually a hard one to narrow down to just one model, because a ton of their knives could have made this list. The Griptilian line is certainly a great option for camping, as is their Adamus folder, and basically anything from their Hunt line would be a great choice as well. But in the end, if we had to narrow it down to one, it would be the Benchmade Freak. And the reason we went with this knife over all those other great options, it came down all to the blade shape. Again, that versatile drop point is gonna do everything you need in the outdoors. And overall, this is a size and shape that's gonna transition well to EDC uses when you're back in your day-to-day -day life. And it even has enough belly here at the front that it could be an excellent hunting folder. Really, this is just about the most versatile knife on this list and would be a great choice for just about any use, but especially the outdoors. We've got S30V steel, and it's not too thick and still has a very high flat grind. Plenty enough strength for what you're gonna need a folder to do, as well as excellent slicing geometry. Moving back to the handle, we've actually got a two-tone design here. And while this gray section may look like a rubberized insert, that's actually the harder section. While the black areas are slightly tacky for extra grip. That's certainly gonna make it easier to hold on to when you don't wanna lose it. And we've also got Benchmade's fantastic axis lock here. What we love about this lock is it's very intuitive and it's very easy for left or right hand users to operate thanks to the mechanism that goes all the way through the handle. The extra advantage that that lock gets us is it allows us to open and close the blade while keeping our fingers free of the closing path. Next up, we're gonna scale back and talk about Swiss Army knives for a little bit. And like the Benchmade lineup, there are a ton of great Swiss Army knives out there, and a lot of them have made great companions for campers over the years. Whether you like the classic Farmer, the one-hand opening Trekker, or even my personal favorite, the Outrider, there's not a lot of bad choices out there. But if we had to narrow it down to one, it would be the Victorinox Ranger Grip 79. One of the things that helps this knife stand apart from other Swiss Army knives is we have some rubberized inserts here, which are gonna help keep your grip on the knife when you're outdoors. We've also got a nice one-hand opening blade that is secured by a very nice liner lock. But unlike most liner locks that are disengaged here by pushing on the front, you actually push on the emblem here, which then pushes the liner lock out of the way. While this knife is not gonna stand up to quite as much hard use, that narrower profile is actually gonna make it a little more agile in certain scenarios. And for me, nothing beats a good Swiss Army knife as a backup to your larger knife. Another thing that helps this knife be a winner is there's not too many layers of tools here, meaning it's not super thick, so it's still very easy to use and not at all cumbersome. The front side also includes a can opener as well as a bottle opener in addition to the screwdriver implements on the tips. And Victorinox has one of the best folding pocket saws in the business, and we get a nice length here with this knife. Furthermore, the back side has a couple of other great tools that are gonna to be phenomenal for campers, and that's a nice awl with a sharpened edge that's gonna allow you to put holes in things as you need to, as well as a corkscrew, which does more than just open bottles when you're out in the woods. The tip of this is actually very good at untying knots that are stuck too fast for your fingers to get free. 
Next up is an affordable knife that's become a classic in outdoor circles, and that's because it's a design that's proven to be more than just the sum of its parts, and that's the Ontario Rat 1, shown here in D2 steel. D2, of course, is a very popular steel with outdoorsmen, but if you'd rather have a stainless, this is also available with Aus 8. The handles are a little bit thinner than some of these other knives, and they're not too uncomfortable, but again, as with any folder, and this especially, I would still recommend gloves. The handle, additionally, is quite accommodating for very large hands, and because of the way it's designed here, it actually provides a very nice place for you to choke up on the blade when you want to do some finer tasks. Again, we get a very nice drop point blade with a full flat grind. Versatility, slicing efficiency, all important things when you're outdoors camping. This next choice may seem a little bit out of left field at first, but the CRKT Homefront is our next pick. Like a lot of these other knives, we get a nice drop point blade shape, this time with a hollow grind and a lot of belly here at the front, allowing this to be used for a lot of slicing tasks like skinning or food preparation. The handles are also a little bit thinner like the rat, so again, I would recommend gloves. Those elements alone wouldn't be enough to take this knife onto this list, but the feature that does is the field strip mechanism. When you're out camping, it's tough to keep things clean like you would at home. Things like mud, dirt, or grit can really gum up a folding knife's mechanism, so you want an easy way to keep it clean. The way the field strip mechanism allows you to take this knife apart into three pieces with no tools makes it very easy to rinse out when it gets gummed up and put it back together very quickly. Our final pick is a little bit out of left field, and I'm actually breaking a few of my rules with this one, and that's the Leatherman Signal. Even though it has a knife blade, I don't really consider this a pocket knife, but it still makes a great companion in the outdoors. We do get a nice utility blade with this knife, which is very useful, even though it is combo edge, which is gonna limit its utility a little bit in the outdoors. When we open the tool up, we do get a few nice implements on one side, including a nice awl, but the other side features this single piece multi-tool integrated into the frame, which can be removed. And this contains a small ferrocerium rod here on the side that'll help you start fires for signaling or warmth, as well as an integrated whistle, which is gonna save your lungs if you do need to do some signaling. While it's always a good idea to carry these items separately, it's good to know that we've got a nice backup set integrated with the tool. On the back, we do have a bottle opener, but as you can see, we've got a nice flat spot here on the end, and that can be used for hammering. Whether you're trying to crack open a nut or drive in a tent stake, it's a nice, useful little addition. On the other side, we've actually got a small diamond sharpener, which will not only allow you to keep this blade sharp, but also any other blades you might be carrying. So these are just a few of the options you have out there when it comes to a nice camping folder. And even if you don't pick one of these, we hope you've taken some of our advice to heart and that'll help you to choose one that's right for you. If you wanna get your hands on any of these knives, click the link in the description below to head on over to knifecenter.com.